What's up everyone, it's Lee here, the rental guy. Uh, I'm here at a golf course, taking down some ceremony seating chairs that a customer paid a lot of money for, for our team to come deliver and set up and now take down. Uh, it's Saturday at 6 p.m., so it's not the most convenient time, but uh, we charged accordingly. One thing that I am doing, I do it myself. Everything that I do myself, I take a video of, right? Because we're at a popular gar golf course in my location, so what I do is I'll take this video and I'll make a copy where I tag the, the golf location and then I can tag our company in it as well so that people, uh, you know, know what ceremony seating looks like at this golf course. They know that our company provides it and then it's tagged with the location. So if people are looking for the location, uh, it's called Moonlight Golf Course. Well, then, uh, you know, that, that video will spike for those people looking for that. I'll also integrate it into my uh, website, into some of my posts. Um, just it's just one more way to be seen and then you can create stock photos of it for your website uh, in a whole ceremony seating section which I've done as well and uh, someone who goes into Google and they type in ceremony seating enter city here well you have better odds of popping up there very simple uh, that is my tactic I do that for lots of different things and today it just happened to be ceremony seating for the second time this year just remember, if you build it, they will come. There is people for every price demographic. Some people are like, want to pick up the chairs. And for us, there was two people this season so far that didn't want to pick up the chairs. They just wanted uh, them set up from us. So we charge an arm and a leg and we got the money from those. So if you offer it, someone will eventually come. We didn't lower our price on these. In fact, we increased our price on these because we're making the same money off them, but doing less booking. So less wear and tear on the chairs. So when you get bigger, remember a deal is not always the best way. Sometimes you're just too busy and uh, the people who are cheaper on stuff usually don't treat the stuff as good. So I'm speaking from experience here so uh heed my words because uh i've experienced it now that i've uh you know four years now so oh and one more thing you know with the ceremony seating i i bought more of these carts because these carts with the long ratchets just work absolutely fantastic to quickly get chairs in and out so i've just um these chairs you get them from princess auto probably tractor supply if you're from the states uh, I pay 120 bucks a cart and they're absolutely great if you have them ratcheted. Don't put the ratchet on the side because the buckle will get in the way. Just keep it on the top. Uh, to get into my 6x12 trailer there, I have to stack them 45 high. If I go to 50, uh, the, the ratchet on the top rubs. So I do my st uh, chair stacks 45 high on these dollies. And once they're ratcheted, you can tilt them a bit to turn them and they are fantastic. So you can see the stack of chairs here um, with these trolleys for some reason you can't ratchet them on this bottom one or you get no control out of it right but if you ratchet it straight through there like that and then leave the ratchet buckle um, like this on the top that's really the best way and then all you have to do is just tilt the cart a little bit to turn it and it just wheels through so easily it's a fantastic way to travel chairs so for every 50 chairs you own uh, or 45 chairs, whatever, depending on your trailer height. Um, get one of those, drop them off with deliveries. We put little stickers on them that say, you know, there's a stacking charge if people don't have them stacked and ratcheted properly. And I haven't had one person that's, uh, haven't had them back on the cart like this. So very, very helpful. So as long as they're ratcheted tight, get them real tight. If you need to turn them, you just tilt a little bit that way and you can turn either way or else you just uh, push them. Look at this, across grass. One hand. One hand. Okay, so before getting 45 chairs up into the trailer, easily across uh, gravel and then through a field was a hard feat. But here we are with a uh, stack of 45 chairs on one of these carts. And just like this, just up a little bit and then just back. right in there, just like that. Here, I've just got multiples of these, and then I just uh, strap them in on the E-track on the side there. There, just like that. You just put a few ratchets in on the E-track, and then they're ratcheted this way, and once they get back to the shop, they're just ready to quickly unbuckle and roll back out. Very simple, uh, space-saving convenience. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, well, I'm going to be making lots of little videos because I'm uh, too busy to make the big ones at the moment. We'll see you on the next one. Click right here uh, if you want to see more videos.